Hi, y'all. How are you guys? I'm back today and I wanted to make this video because I hear so many people talking or typing online about, you know, their clothing choice and, well, I like these shoes. Well, I can't walk in heels. Well, I can't do this. And I need, you know, um, so, hey, y'all. I'm going to wait till a few more people arrive, but to really get into it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. The women who dress for comfort as if they're already 90 years old. Um, I'm talking to you guys in particular. Or the person that's so into their own style that they forget um, what their whole intention is for dressing up to look, you know, attractive is even for. So I'm talking to you guys. For ladies who dress for comfort and um, whatever other reason, remember if you're trying to attract a man, especially a masculine man, you need to look uh, like a feminine woman. Okay, you can't be wearing grandma orthopedic shoes and church lady dresses you know, that don't fit your body correct, um, glasses and, you know, no makeup. You can't go around thinking that Mr. Right is going to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, you're so beautiful. You know, can I take you to lunch or can I give you my card, you know, or, oh my God, that's wifey. You can't expect that when you look like their grandmother or their mother. Okay. Um, so when you put your clothing on, to go anywhere. If you're a single woman and you want to attract someone, dress for what you know that men are attracted to. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, Sarah Wilkes. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Auntie Shira. You're the best. Oh, that was a very hefty, nice donation. Ooh, red too. Like my lipstick. Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. So um, I, yeah, that reminds me, eye catching colors like reds, pretty pinks, you know, feminine eye catching colors. Make sure that you're wearing these things. It's like, think about yourself as a flower. I know this is corny, but flowers have to do things to bring in the bees. Okay. Bees are the ones that help pollinate. They're like the man. So if you have beautiful scent, if you smell good, and you're colorful, and you look attractive, the bees or the men are going to be attracted to you. You know, if you look like an old, dead, withered flower, ain't got no pollen left in it, the bee is going to go somewhere else that looks more attractive. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say give it your all. Put some effort into it. Get some colors. Maybe this is not your comfort zone, but maybe it's what his fantasy is. Maybe it's not your cup of tea, but maybe that's what's going to get him to cross that room to come approach you instead of just looking at you. Like maybe he's trying to put a different outfit on you in his mind to try to imagine what you would look like if you were dressed like you were trying to attract a man. You ever thought about that? So... <laughs> Where's this top from? I think I got this at 20, Forever 21, y'all. Um, so I, I would be like, you know, what would a man want to see on me if he, if he could dress me up? Um, pink, white, light blue, red, sometimes black if it's like an evening. Um, or a cocktail dress, cream, gold. So should I wear lingerie for a man who asks, but isn't my boyfriend yet? Um, If he pays for it and all your bills are paid by him, sure. You know, if, if there's no prize, if there's no work to get to the prize, then it's not really the prize anymore. You know, I always tell women this. You have to look like the prize. You have to look like the fantasy. Otherwise, they're not going to treat you that way. So I, I always suggest making sure that 
if you're going to do those type of things with these guys, make sure that they're already fully invested into you. Right? Mm hmm. Dress for the man and not for yourself. Exactly. And this is this is not because, uh, oh, the man's idea or the way of thinking is better. It's if, if a man walked up to you in some raggedy, holy clothes, a stinky T-shirt, his comfort zone, would you be too attracted to them? No. They'd have, if they came up to you in a nice tailored fitted suit, cologne on, you know, um, nice clean cut or if you like beards, whatever, and they came up to you looking like that, you would be more attracted to them because that's what you like. Okay. So it's the same thing. You know, you're, they're not going to wear their old nasty beat up t-shirt and, and um, shorts that they wear around the house and uh, open toe sandals to come meet you out on a date because it's comfortable and they don't feel like they need to change in order to impress you. They don't do that. They come out with the best outfit that they probably can't even afford to impress you because they know that's what you want and it's going to work to lure you in, you know. So that's why the title of this video is don't like is to dress for men, not yourself. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. V banks. Keep teaching lady. You're awesome. Thank you. So make sure you're understanding that because a lot of women keep asking, can I wear this? No, ask a man. Don't ask me. If the man says it's ugly, don't wear it. Okay. Go ask your gay, a gay male friend. He's going to tell you, girl, I look like my grandma's shoe. Uh -uh, I wouldn't even wear that. And I'm a man. You know, when you st when you go to the shoe section and, and you see size 13 shoe in a heel and you go in for the granny orthopedic heel, you already know that shoe is over there for some man to take your place as the fantasy. OK, <laughs> you know, go look at. Go look at a trance. Go look at a drag queen. Go go look at someone who understands through the man brain what looks good. You will never see a, a drag queen or a trans woman wearing a kitten heel. You will never see them wearing an orthopedic shoe. You will never see them wearing Mary Janes unless they're, you know, platforms and they're going all out for, you know, Pride week or something. But if they're really trying to slay, as they call it, you're not going to see them in any of that because they know how a man thinks and they know what the fantasy is. You understand? So um, make sure you're understanding this. Because if you don't, then your opportunity could walk right, right past you because you're not dressed up according to what they like, you know. Um, I thought drag queens aren't classy though. They're not, but they understand the dynamic. Well, some drag queens look good. I ain't gonna lie. Some trans women look good. I, what I'm saying is they understand that you don't walk in, onto a date with orthopedic shoes on. That's what I'm, that's the point I'm trying to drive home. They're, they're not. They put on makeup, they have hair, they put on a dress or an outfit that shows or accentuates, you know, whatever. And then they show themselves with heels, cute, you know, sexy heels. They know what is attractive. Okay. So make sure you understand this because you, then you have a woman walking right behind this um, trans person who looks like their grandma. And, and they're out freestyling. And then and then you wonder why no one's coming to approach you because you're not doing it right. OK, so when you go out, it needs to be like you're going to. Um, a place that's full of celebrities where are you going to show up like that if you're going to be around uh, celebrities? Are you going to show up on a date like that? No, you shouldn't. OK. You need to dress just like that because that's most of people's fantasies and see what happens. 
Okay. Don't show up with something you threw together because it's comfortable. Oh, it's cold. It's snowing. It don't matter. Get you a coat, put it on, get you a trench coat, put it on. When you get in, out, take it off. You know? So what about high-waisted jeans? Um, ask a man if that's his fantasy when you go out freestyling. You know what I mean? Thank you for helping me and others understand can be spiritual and luxurious. It's time to allow in what already knew was true. Yep. Thank you. Level up Tara tarot. Yep. You know, just because you're spiritual don't mean you have to look like you don't have anything or that you want, you know, glamorous or anything. It's all up here. Right. So. Yeah. Mm hmm. George, your girlfriend's a stripper and she wears regular clothes when she's not at work because that's her job. If if she worked in an office all day and she put the sexy clothes on, you'd be running like, oh, my God, you look so good. So since you see that all the time, it's no big deal to you. OK, most people don't, aren't dating strippers, so like they don't get to see that walking around all the time. So when they do, it's exciting to them, you know? Um, thank you. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much. Your sugar daddy used to text every week and it's been a week and he has not texted me. Should I text him or do I just wait? I'm leveled up and I look way better than him. You should have two then or three. Why are you sitting around waiting? Don't I say this every video? Go get you another one. He's a sugar daddy. He ain't your boyfriend. He don't have to text you. You see, when he gets bored, he'll call you. When he's ready to see you, he'll call you. That's why you need to have three, two or three. Thank you for the donation, but two or three. Okay. Don't start calling him because then that means, you know, you're interrupting his time with somebody else. Cause you know, if he has one, he probably has two or he's married. Um, so make sure you understand that. Okay. Thank you. Divine mind flow. Hi, Shira. Do you have openings in level up group ready today? Please don't ask me about that on this channel. There is no way I can get to you that quick. Um, because there's so many people already waiting and it's just, don't ask me about that on the channel. Thank you for the donation. Um, if you can find a way to contact me, great. Contact me that way. I've been watching your videos for years originally. Okay, feminine power and ended up trapped two sugar daddies. Your advice is so golden in my oh, thank you sincerely, Tish. 1111. Thank you. I'm I'm glad you got some sugar daddies. Good for you. Um, so thank you. All right. So I appreciate it. Um also, if you um, remember, every time you leave your house is a potential chance to run into someone um, that could be uh, your future husband, your future boyfriend, your future sugar daddy. You need to also be mindful of how you leave your home every day. Don't rush out of the house. Better late than ugly. Okay. So keep that as your motto. Better late than ugly. Okay. Um, because I, I've, get, I've gotten a lot of people to, you know, telling me, oh, somebody rushed out the house and they ran into a celebrity and they had to meet them looking, looking crazy. You know? Okay. Sure. When I was curious, how tall is James? Oh, you're curious how tall is Jay? He taller than me. Um, so that's good. I've dated taller, but he's taller than me. Women wear thongs, not granny panties. <laughs> wow. Always look your best. Exactly. King Rush says, always look your best. 
Well, there's a few guys in here. So I'm going to ask the guys, you know, what is the worst thing a woman can wear out in public that just disgusts you? Let me see what they say. That way, if y'all are wearing it, y'all throw it in the garbage and burn it. <laughs> um, Daisy Goodwin, are men bothered by women's sexual history? If you tell them and you tell the truth, probably. But it's, first of all, it's none of their business and you can always lie. Thank you, Ruby D. I prefer African and Caribbean men. Do you have any ideas on what I can meet a wealthy local African and Caribbean man? I live in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you for the donation. Um, uh, ugly women don't know how to dress. Their shape. Oh, the worst thing is an ugly woman who doesn't know how to dress for her shape. Mm hmm. OK. Um, most successful African-American or Caribbean men are probably going to be. Um, mm, probably invested into certain types of business, like, you know, um, doctors, there's lots of African doctors out there. Um, so choose like a hospital and go walk around. There's lots of African doctors, lots of African American, African, African, Nigerian doctors and medical school chiropractors, all of that. OK. Um, so you got to be real. You got to you got to you got to look good to get you a doctor. Mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> Someone said. Well, just African men go to go to the hospitals. That's, that's the only place that I've ever seen a lot of rich African dudes is in the hospital because they're doctors and the surgeons. Or they own their own clinics or pharmacies. The pharmacy owner. Go for it. Um, <laughs> you work with doctors, I need help to get one. Make sure you look good every day. Act feminine, smile, wear cute pink, pretty feminine colors. Don't wear that ugly blue stuff. Or if you do, make sure you have pink lipstick and pink nails and a pink pen or something. But you gotta really stand out with your feminine uh, look. Keep your hair done, keep your nails done, keep your makeup done, okay? Um, we love money with our hearts. <laughs> yeah. Act innocent. Yeah. Always act innocent. Mm hmm. I would love to date a wealthy Arab man or well, go for it. Um, Yeah. First of all, men don't ask how many women you, I mean, most men with money do not ask how many men you slept with. That's a, that's a dusty question. So if you get that question, it means they're dusty and broke, you see? So you want to get up and walk because most men don't ask that, especially the ones with money. You know what I mean? If you're dealing with broke men, they're going to ask that question. So, <laughs> Thank you. How do you get your boyfriend to propose? Well, most men don't propose for a couple of reasons. Either they're not financially ready to be a husband yet, or they're not ready to get married and settle down. Thank you, Sabrina E. I'm five six. Should I be afraid to wear heels if a sugar daddy is shorter? No, they like heels. They don't care. They got money. If they rich, they don't care if they're short. You know what I mean? They got money. That's their height. Um, uh, 
And you are helping me level up and I already am seeing big progress. You are a godsend. Thank you, Rose, Rosa. Um, I saw another question. Um, your sugar daddy left you for a fashion blogger. How do you upgrade? Go get you another one. Like, like I already say, you need to have two. That way you don't have to upgrade. You just switch. I don't see why y'all don't understand this. I don't see. Two, 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 two. Because he had two. And you still, you know what I'm saying? Two, 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 three, two, three, two, three, four. As many as you can. You know, when one is not there anymore, the other one still is. Y'all aren't understanding this. Y'all are try, 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 trying to treat a sugar daddy like a boyfriend. They ain't your boyfriend. You see? So get more than one. If you do, you'll be glad you did. Okay? You'll never be sad that you did. You'll only be glad. See? <laughs> um, How do I... Make him pay for my Uber. I have a date tonight. Um, well, I would ask him if he would do the baby voice, give him a call. Hey, I can't wait to see you tonight. I just have one little favor to ask you. Would you mind paying for an Uber so that I can come and see you? You know, do the baby voice. It works. Just do the baby voice. They're going to say yes. But then, you know, you got to give them your address. Or you can have them pick you up from some location that's not your address. Um, a man you're dating told you that, you, that he likes shorter hair because he says, I don't act comfortable in a wig. I don't know if I should listen to him. Alexa. Well, you have to wear that wig like it's your real hair, baby. Maybe it's maybe he's trying to tell you it's a bad wig. Is it a real human hair wig? Is it obviously a wig? You know, maybe he's trying to tell you your wig is uh, is bad. That's a nice way to tell someone that their wig is is terrible. So, go back and look. Make sure your wig is of higher quality. Wear it all the time so you can get comfortable in it and be be comfortable in it. Because, you know, if 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 a man has to tell you that you are uncomfortable, okay? Your wig is real hair, okay? Do you have the front of it looking decent? You know? Is it pulled too far down? Like, I don't know, I have to see your picture. But if it's if it's good, if everything is Checking out and if it looks good, maybe he's uncomfortable with it. You know what I mean? But um, I would still be wearing it. <laughs> or tell him, well, if I had some money to get my real hair, my real short hair done the way I want it to, I sure would. I mean, he's going to give you some money. Then go buy you a short wig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Right. If you're mad at your sugar daddy, how do you handle it? Go to date the other sugar daddy that you're supposed to have and you'll forget all about that other one. And until he does what you want him to do, there's no reason for you to contact him. Okay. Um, I don't know. Y'all watch my channel, but y'all don't listen to me. <laughs> Get more than one. Always. See, the thing is, y'all probably have one. And once you get one, then you just stop right there. Oh, I made it. I didn't got one. No, you made it when you have three. Okay. Especially if, you know, they're not paying any bills and they're just taking you out and give you a little change here and there. That's not some, when you stop, you stop when all bills are paid. You got your name on a car, a condo, a house, an apartment. And the person has invested so much into you that you already know, you know, one is okay, but always keep your options open and keep yourself up 
so you can get one, get another one if you start seeing the signs of him drifting away, you know. But I say always keep one on the back burner just in case one that you can always call and have, you know, what you need. But don't stop at one. Y'all are confusing sugar daddies with boyfriends, and that's a no-no. That's why most of y'all get messed up. So, yeah, and a lot of times if you do have a boyfriend or sugar daddy, they'll let you know, oh, I like when you wear this type of outfit or I like those type of shoes or, you know, blah, 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 blah. So you can then understand what you need to go, you know, purchase or what you need to buy in order to look like they want you to look. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I know not everyone's fully leveled up yet, but the videos have been, I've been saying this in every video, every single video, I always have more than one sugar daddy. I, I just need to title each video with parentheses, I always have more than one sugar daddy. Um, what is the best outfit for freestyling to get a rich boyfriend or husband? Um, first of all, when you're out and about, you're not going to get a boyfriend. You're not going to get a husband. You're going to get a date. Okay. Stop thinking like this. This is why y'all can't get no boyfriend or no husband because y'all are already looking for a boyfriend and a husband before you're even getting a date. You see? So what you need to do is first figure out how to get any man to ask you out. Okay. When you get any type of man and every type of man asking you out, then you can choose who you want as your husband or your boyfriend, you see? So level up all the way, understand what men find attractive and just go out and they're gonna come to you. Do the eye contact, do the baby voice, smile, you know, dress, wear dresses. I don't know why y'all, a lot of y'all go out wearing pants. Sometimes that's not the best thing because men like dresses and skirts, okay? Um, there you go. I say dresses are more feminine. Yeah. We have some frustrated dudes in here. Level up boys. Oh yeah. We know that they're here. Um, thank you for the answer, Sheila. Oh, you're welcome, Rachel. So, yeah. You need to have like two sets of clothing. One that you wear, you know, when you're at home, when you're working out, when you're um, doing um, stuff in the yard. You don't wear that stuff out in public. Okay. Then you have the, the clothing that you wear out in public because you may run into someone that wants to ask you out. You may run into someone who may end up being your boyfriend, may end up being your husband. So they're not going to cross a room for you in clothes that you were just doing laundry in or cleaning up your house in or doing your um, garden in or going to the gym in unless, you know, especially gym clothes, you know, if they're cute gym clothes and they're only thinking about one thing anyway. <laughs> But um, you may get something if you got a good body and you wear gym clothes. But for the most part, you need to look like someone who a man will cross a room for, you know, when they see you. Um, I do get more attention when I wear dresses. Yeah, but I love my pants. Okay, well, if you're not, if you want to marry yourself, then keep wearing pants. If you want to date yourself, then keep wearing pants. I keep telling y'all, don't wear pants out men like dresses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I'm sitting here practicing my baby voice. Oh my God, I need some work. Yep. Practice that thing. Practice it. It works. There are, mm -hmm. you said don't dress like you're washing clothes and I'm looking at the clothes I have on right now about to head to the laundromat. I'm about to change. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. You ever seen, you know, the old movies, you know, from the eighties and the women wash your clothes and I all look drat, you know, terrible. And then you see that one chick that has on the makeup and the, you know, the cute outfit and she's, she's in there washing her clothes. Like she don't even belong in there. That's what you need to look like. 
book, see? But you're not going to meet anybody in a laundromat unless you live in like this really nice building and they their laundry is being done in a laundromat, right? Mm -hmm. What about shoes? Heels, baby. Heels, 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 heels. Heels, heels. That's what men like. You ever heard a man say, oh, that's a beautiful flat? No. You know, heels, strappy heels, open toe heels, heels. Um, especially when you're going out to, to freestyle or to go out. What if you don't have the shape for a dress? Get the shape for a dress. Get the shape. Get you a body shaper. Get you a fake booty. I don't know. Get you one of them um, underwears with a fake butt in it. Get you a girdle. Get you a waist cincher. Get you a dress that fits your actual size and put it on. Make a body. Work out. Go, you know, that's what you got to do because... If you don't have the body for a dress, then what is going to attract the man? You know, I don't understand that. What length should the dress and skirts be? Um, long enough to stay classy instead of trashy. How about that? Um, she will how to get gifts from Sugar Daddy more often. Ask. What about your yoga pants, yay or nay? Um, if you want to look like somebody's mom or, you know, just depends. I, I don't say yay. I wouldn't say yay. I don't think yoga pants are something to go and attract men with, you know. They might like them at the gym, but why are you putting them on to go out? or to run errands, you should be dressed for the lifestyle you want, you know, I don't know, you know, it's different for people, but I wouldn't do it, that's my, mm -hmm. um, do I have to meet a sugar daddy in person if it's online dating and have rich friend, but I want to twist him to sugar daddy, what should I do? Come up with a, an emergency situation that you need money from and ask him for the money. Let him rescue you, you know. Um, if he likes you a lot, he will. Let me tell you guys something. What about at work? At work, when I went out, at work, when I did anything, when I went to the store, when I went to CVS, when I pumped gas, I looked good all the time. All the time. All the time. Okay? When I was young, I did not leave the house without heels. It, if I had on something else, I had heels in my trunk that I could change at in any given moment. I did not leave my house looking any type of way. Why? And, and that's why I have all the stories I have. I've met many celebrities and I didn't even go anywhere. <laughs> right here in my own hometown. Why? Because when I go out, I look my best I looked my best at all times, pumping gas, going to the club, going over to my sister's house. Oh, hey, sister, what's up? Oh, we finna go out. You want to go with us? Sure. Well, I just need to change my uh, shirt. Can I borrow a shirt? Great, because most of my outfit was already cute. You see? Oh, uh, so I'm at the club. Okay, um, this dude walks up to me. He's like super tall. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh my God, he plays for the NBA. Yay, I already had my makeup on. Didn't have to go home. Didn't have to meet them later. and Didn't miss my opportunity. Why? Because I already looked good. Because I didn't leave my house looking crazy. So that's why I'm saying, you know, um, oh, walk into a, a place, you know, um, somebody says, oh, would you like to meet such and such? I didn't even know that such and such was there. Sure. You know, that's what I'm saying. Um, oh, oh, I'm pumping gas. Oh, oh, hey, shorty, what's your name? Da, 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 da. Oh, my God, who is that? Oh, it's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, here, here, here's some tickets. Why don't you roll through? Come on. We got, we're having an after party Um, after this. You know, we're going to be meeting up later on. Y'all want to come? Sure. Thank you, Rebecca Moise. Love you. Thank you. Love you, too, girl. Or, you know, um, sitting at sitting at the uh, the bar in a nice restaurant eating. Uh, some dude walks in on his lunch break, comes to talk to you. Hey, what's up? You're so pretty. Da, 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 da. You here by yourself? Oh, wow. Da, da, da. Blah, 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 blah. Um, can I have this, this, and that? Yeah, I'll take this. Da, da, da. You want something to drink? Sure. Okay. And put her stuff on my tab. 
Okay. That's how it's done. Okay. You got to walk around looking like something in order to get something. Okay. That's it. That's all I, that's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. That's it. Nothing else. You know, when you talk, you just, you know, fill in the blanks, let them do most of the talking. It's that easy. Thank you, Medina Blake. I appreciate the donation. So don't ask, well, what about this? And what about that? You know, a man, we know what men like. Go look at all the pictures that they're liking on Instagram. Um, that's what they like on Instagram. But in real life, a wealthy man is not going to be all up on Instagram unless they're like a rapper or a ball player. But in real life, the majority of men are going to like feminine women that are sexy, classy, someone who can bring home the mama, somebody can show off in front of their friends, someone that they can be proud to bring out in public, someone that they can fantasize about, and you know, someone that just turned them on. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you have to put all that effort into it. No one is looking at your personality, not not from the start. That's not what lures a man in. No personality lures a man in. They look with their eyes. Okay. So if they like what they see, what they're seeing, they're going to take it further. Then they'll get to know you. Okay. So just remember that y'all keep doing everything backwards and not understanding how the man and his brain works. <laughs> okay. They don't care about what you do for a living unless they want some of that money. They don't care about where you went to school. They don't care about, don't even tell them you have kids. They don't even care about any of that. They just want to know if they have a chance with you and if they can impress you. That's all they want to know. And once you let them do that, and once you give them that baby voice and make them feel like a big, strong man, they're yours to do whatever you need to do with it. You know what I'm saying? And once, once they're, um, you know, bowing to your every whim, then you can start asking for things. You know what I'm saying? That easy. Thank you, Ebar, for the donation. Um, he put me on his credit card, and now my score is going up. Good for you. See, Rebecca? Hey, your credit is even going up. <laughs> so, um, right. Thank you, Joyce. You're welcome for my videos. <laughs> Thank you for watching them. Okay, so it's this it's just that simple. Women like to overcomplicate everything. It ain't it's not that complicated. Okay? Bring it back down to simplicity. What do men like? Heels, dresses, makeup, long hair, red lipstick, baby voice, feminine colors. Make them feel good. Give them compliments. Listen, let them talk. Don't talk about your boring stuff. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. So use the formula to get success with men. That's just it. We already know women are smart. We already know women know how to dress comfortable. We already know that you're going to make a great grandma one day. Let's just let, let that happen naturally, you know, in a couple of decades. Don't, don't go out looking like that today. Okay. Because when you get old, you'll be mad that you wasted all your youth looking old already. I've seen so many women who make themselves look ugly on purpose, thinking they're looking like, you know, spiritual or deep or whatever. Um, but you really just look like somebody's grandma. I, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> right. There's so much potential in um, a lot of women, but... They forgot what they forgot that dressing for men is going to get them a man, not dressing for themselves, you know, not dressing for a cause, not dressing for um, a statement, but dressing for the attraction. That's the difference. So um, mm -hmm. that's all I that's all I have to say to dress for the man, not for anything else. If that's what you're looking for, you can't be dressed for this reason and expect to attract this reason in. You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> is natural the word you're looking for? Um, well, how many natural, beautiful, 
no makeup wearing, natural hair um, women are successful in meeting men that's going to pay all their bills. Okay. Men don't like natural. They like fake. They like weave. They like makeup. They like lashes. They like tight clothes. They like heels. That's what they like. Okay. So if that's what they like, that's what you got to give them. That's what you got to give them. You can be natural under your wig. You can take the makeup off when you get home. You can do all of that. You can still be true to yourself after you take off everything else and then get your money. You ain't got to answer to a boss. You don't have to go report to and build up someone else's corporation. You can, you sure can buy you some props to attract men because that's what they're attracted to. And then you can go home and relax in your natural hair with no makeup on, feet on the uh, on the table watching Netflix all day while everybody else is going to work and do whatever you want to do. Then you can call the shots in your own life. Okay. Cause I, that's what I sure did. And, and I'm glad I did it and I'll do it again. <laughs> so not everyone can look like Alicia Keys. Okay. I don't, I don't think everybody should look like Alicia Keys. I think everybody should understand that Men like a certain look. If you understand that, get as close to it as you can. You know what I'm saying? That's like some some dude who weighs 300 pounds with, you know, pimples all over his back. Thinking that you're supposed to be attracted to him and he broke. OK, you ain't going to be attracted to that. That's not your mental picture of what an attractive man looks like. Your mental picture of what an attractive man looks like is fit, probably tall, or at least taller than you. Nice teeth, nice skin, has some type of financial stability. That's your type. You know, you might have a preference, light or dark skin, you know, blonde or brown hair. You might have a preference. That's your preference. Now, a man that understands what a woman what women like, they're gonna be at the gym. They're gonna be at work getting that money. And they're gonna be washing their back with soap and water so that they don't get back acne. They're gonna be brushing those teeth. Okay, they're not gonna approach you any type of way. Thank you, love for fold. It's 29.32. No, it's that's that's a good age. You good start. You know, if, especially if you don't look that age. Um, exactly. Handsome broke, man. I see it financial stability, though. Women don't really go for all looks. They go for some looks, but they're looking at that money now. Okay. <laughs> exactly. What if you can't go on trips with men because of work? He invites me always. Or he need to pay your bills. He need to stop you from working. You need to say, oh, well, if you took care of me, I could go anywhere with you at any time. If I didn't have to worry about these bills, you know, I sure would love to go with you. But, you know, haven't met my Prince Charming yet, obviously. <laughs> so just let him know that. It's not your fault. It's his fault. He had he had an offer to pay your bills. You shouldn't be have you shouldn't have to work if he has enough money to take you on vacation. He needs to pay your bills. Look, save the vacation, pay these bills. We can go drive an hour and go to a weekend getaway, and then we can go on a vacation. But I need you to pay my bills. <laughs> take that vacation money, pay your bills. Stop working. Okay. Alicia Keys ain't putting no makeup on, <laughs> right? Um, Whitney wearing sandals and open toe shoes or should you wait a little longer uh, if it's warm where you are wear what you want make sure your toes are done make sure you have a pedicure mm -hmm. you have a sugar daddy that wants to meet you but it's months out and he'll take care of you after you meet. Okay, well, move the meeting up. <laughs> move the meeting up. Or get a, get another one. I don't know. Get another one. Man, get another one. You have three. Have one that you already can meet today or tomorrow. 
Mm hmm. You said Alicia Keys need to put that makeup back on. Right. Get a down payment. Right. So wear what you want. What do I think about cleavage? I think showing a little bit is, is fine. I don't think. Yeah. They should be sending money before they meet. Right. They should, but maybe they'll never meet you. Maybe they just want to talk to you all the time and use up your uh, energy. Maybe you should just get another sugar daddy and don't talk to him until he's sending some money. It's like, I can't afford to talk to you. Click. I need some money. Click. Send him your PayPal app link, whatever, or your cash app. And until he, he pays, don't talk. I don't think Alicia Keys is what we want to mimic. Yeah. Like, yeah, we don't want to mimic Alicia Keys. I mean, I can see Naomi Campbell or Beyonce or, you know, Kerry Washington or, you know, somebody like that. But Alicia Keys ain't doing nothing these days. Like, she look like somebody grandma, too. Okay. Rihanna. Hey, yeah, that, that's the one. <laughs> okay. Y'all look at Rihanna. That's that's my uh, spiritual animal. Rihanna, she look different all the time, but she keeps that combination of what men like. You don't ever see her dressed up like somebody's grandma ever. You know, she's she's showing that body. She's her hair is always cute, always has on makeup, nails. Mm-hmm. That's what you got to do. Like, if you don't look like, if you're not a walking fantasy, go back and try again. Now, I'm a mom. I'm married. I got kids. Been with the same dude for 18 years. So, I mean, I don't, I'm good. I'm done. I still try to look decent. You know what I'm saying? But if I was single, I sure would be wearing a lot of, you know, um, a lot more sexier clothes when I go out. So, just to let you guys know. Kim Kardashian, mm-hmm. Um, not Sierra is average, my opinion. Sierra looks good still. Um, she has a great body, pretty face. You know, she looks good. Mm-hmm. First time you caught me live, when when Jiru? Hey. Um look like Rihanna and get the man and Beyonce after you get him, right? Should you always dress sexy? You should always dress according to what you think men will find attractive. Okay. Feminine colors, dresses, skirts, heels. If you have sandals on, make sure your toes are done. Because men look at that. Mm-hmm. Apparently rich men don't like women who are as curvy as Kim K. Okay. Well, then don't be, um, don't accentuate a lot of the curves if you don't think that men with money will be attracted to it or lose more weight. Um, I need more sexy clothes. Buy some. Go shop online, girl. Um, what color are your toenails? Dark, dark burgundy right now. Um, Shira, talk about not dressing too sexy or coming off as an escort or just, um, so classy, sexy, go on Pinterest and type in classy, sexy outfits. Okay. Don't go to places that escorts go to pick up men. That simple. Okay. Um, if they mistake you as an escort, find it funny and cute. It's like, oh my God, thank you so much. I just, <laughs> I just came out to have a drink, but it's it's so funny. You think I look like an escort. Do you often, you know, date escorts? And then make flip it back onto them and ask them, make them feel stupid. Do you often date escorts? Because <laughs> I think that's not, I always want to know about that. Like, what is it like? <laughs> flip it. Now you got him. Now you're talking to him. Now he's glad you're not an uh, escort. Now he know he's gonna have to give you, you know. Um, some real money if he wants to see you again. <laughs> like, oh, no, I'm not an escort. I'm just a gold digger. 
I know it's hard to tell sometimes, but uh, I'm in it for the long haul and the big bucks. <laughs> so, um, like, if you want to be funny and you that's not the type of man you like, just go ahead. It's like, oh, no, sweetie, I'm not an escort. I'm a gold digger. We, You know, it's two different things, baby. <laughs> You got a feminine job, no more overnight at Amazon Warehouse. Good for you, cruising. I'm so happy. There you go. Um, How do you meet sugar daddies? Look good and go out to where rich men hang out. That's it. They'll come up, they'll approach you. Sure, what if you are tall and skinny? I'm trying to gain weight, but it seems to not work. Some men like tall and skinny. Work it. Look at supermodels. How do they dress? Copy the style. Doc Nana, thank you. Or Nana. Hey, Shira Sophia here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Sophia girl. Hey. Um, work your skinny girl. There's lots of men that love skinny women. Work it. Whoever says you have to be curvy to get a man, you can work skinny. Shoot, get. I'll, I'll work skinny all, all day, every day. <laughs> mm hmm I let love take me. We got in a car accident and we had a warrant and got arrested and left me with whiplash and no money or help. Just choose money, y'all. Exactly. <laughs> Always choose money. Um. And, you know, this may sound shallow, but I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all why everything sounds so shallow. But if you do those things, you'll come out with a better life. So let me tell you why it sounds shallow, even though it will improve your life. <laughs> it sounds shallow and it seems shallow. It's because you've been programmed to think of yourself last and least. That's why it sounds shallow. But if you think about it, it's the exact same thing that men do. Okay. Thank you, Regina. Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. So that's why it sounds that way, because you've been programmed to think that way. Okay. It's not shallow if it's improving your life. And it's not harming anyone. It's not harming anyone. So what's the what's the big deal? Okay. Um, should I wear my waist trainer every time I get dressed? If that's gonna help you, I mean, unless you can find some good shapewear that helps you look the best that you can look, go ahead. Um, you too innocent in real life. You can't pull off sexy. Well, pull off innocent, sweet, young, silly. You know. Bubbly Marilyn Monroe style. Um, right. Thank you, um, love son. Ooh, you gave me a nice donation, girl. Hey, thank you. Ooh, I love the pink, the little pink box. Love the way you say broke with a k. Mm -hmm. <laughs> broke. <laughs> That's the echo of the empty bank account. Broke. <laughs> um, don't be scared to get a sugar daddy to get you a tummy tuck or BBL. Hey, that's how most of the women get them. They get somebody else to pay for them. Um, <laughs> echo. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give me? You're 23. No one seems to take you seriously because you don't take yourself seriously. If you want to be taken seriously, take yourself seriously. Go get you some nice outfits, get you some nice heels, get your, get you a nice hairdo, you know, whatever, wig, hairstyle, whatever you do, cut, haircut, get your nails did, go to nice places where serious people hang out, take yourself out of childhood and put yourself into adulthood. Instead of going to clubs, go to um, five-star restaurants and sit at the bar. Instead of going to um, wherever 
you know, 23 year olds go, go to where older people go that, that are going to have some money. See, go to live music lounges, jazz clubs, um, places where people with money go, cultured places, you know, exhibits, art shows, stuff where people with lots of money go to buy art. Um, go to those type of places. Hang out at charity events where you have to wear um, formal clothing or cocktail dresses to go. And um, there you go. You're going to be surrounded by people with money and they'll take you seriously because that's where you are in a serious environment. Mm hmm. Did you have a nose job? No. I've been on here every day or at least every week. If I had a nose job, I'm, I'm a super fast healer. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. What does it mean if you want to take you to McDonald's and cinema and then to motel? It means you a cheap date and he's a dusty. <laughs> um, sure. Do you get vulnerable around James? Pfft, when I don't want to do something, I sure do. I do get vulnerable. <laughs> um, sure. What do you think is better, long meals or short? It just depends. Try medium length first. I mean, like both meals. I don't, I think men like both. I mean, I got a lot of compliments on my meals when they were longer. <laughs> as long as they're not like too complicated with a bunch of um, designs and stuff on them. I think men like that. Uh, <laughs> Salve La Sarine says she's a tranny and she don't even let guys do that to her. Or take you to McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Um, that's good. Cause like, that's the lowest type of date. That's a high school, junior high school date, y'all. Don't get square nails then. <laughs> Men hate super long claw nails. Don't do claws. Maybe like a, a square oval or like a coffin shape that's not super long, maybe medium. When you are preaching that young woman date or get older men, now society says otherwise. What? Um, get whatever is paying your bills, baby. Get whatever is providing for you. Get whatever is going to stay with you for a long haul and keep paying the bills. If you can get a young one to do it, great. If you can get an old one to do it, great. I just says get something that's paying for you and putting you as a priority and that's going to give you what you deserve. So do whatever you need to do. Okay, because you'll thank me later. Just think about it. Just really sit there and think about it. You will thank me later when you don't have to get up every morning and drive to a job you hate. You'll thank me later when you don't have to um, worry about if um, you get home on time to help your kids or pick up your kids or do homework and then do laundry and then do this and then go back to work. You'll thank me later. Okay. Because when you're doing all that work just for the luxury of being with a man close to your own age, it is going to never be worth it ever you know why because you ain't never gonna see him you're gonna be at work you're gonna be messing around with the kids you're gonna be trying to uh do laundry do housework cook clean so when are you gonna have time to even notice how old he is okay when are you gonna have time to notice that when he does, when he goes in the bed and, and, and gives his best two minutes, rolls over and goes to sleep on you, is that, is that when you're going to figure out his real age? Um, 
when y'all take family pictures and you start looking older than him because you working more than him, that's what's going to happen. And once once that age catch up with you because you're doing double work, then you're going to look like the old, old one and he's going to look like the young one. So go ahead and get somebody your age and see what happens. Go have fun. I'm, I'm serious. That's going to be the great, the best lesson you'll ever learn. All right. And when you learn that lesson and you understand that it's not worth it, then maybe you can. Um, what the heck is this? Then maybe you can understand that it's not your best decision. <laughs> I'm going to set my clock so I don't go over. There you go. Um, thank you, Indira, Salvador. Oh, thank you, goddess. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That was a nice, generous donation, too. Oof. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. <laughs> um, I appreciate that, Indira. Thank you, girl. So how do you get a star goddess to have me some babies? <laughs> um, be a billionaire. Be a millionaire. <laughs> Dressing a little bit bigger than your size isn't always bad, right? As long as you look good in the clothes. Like... So say you wear a certain size in, um, in this clothing, but it doesn't fit like it fits in a different type of or a different brand. Well, go one size up. Don't be afraid to go one size up if the clothes don't fit right. You know, you don't have to stick to a number. Just stick to how they fit. Okay. Um, how can you style jeans, simple top sweater? Um, like if you're out and about, um, just on a casual day, I mean, my cousin, y'all, my cousin walk around with, if she wears jeans, she still got on heels. She still has on, you know, a cute top, um, jewelry, hair done, full makeup. You got to keep them heels with you. If you're going to wear jeans, you need some heels. But think, also think about this. What type of man are you attracting? You know, you wear jeans, you're going to get taken to a jeans date. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you wearing jeans when you meet, you're going on a jeans type of date. Depends on what dress for the life you want, baby. Dress for the life you want. If you, if you don't have on jeans, you're not going on a jeans date. <laughs> now, I wear jeans because I'm married. But if I never had jeans on when I went out, ever, before I was married. <laughs> okay, never. Skirt, dress, you know, tight pants, blouse, heels. Um, shoot, back then I could wear shorts. Like... I had these, uh, I had these leather, what's it, leather shorts, like, mm-hmm, All right, sometimes you can't hide a big butt, though, uh -huh. you seriously fall in heels. Your clutch, you better. St I fell too, but I still had them on. Ask, ask, ask my sister how many times I fell in them shoes. <laughs> I always had some big strong man to help me up, though. Oops, I slipped. Help me. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I slipped. There's something on the floor. Oh, well, let me help you. Let me help you. See. I can't walk I, back then because I was drinking too. Barely could walk in heels, but I sure had them all. <laughs> you better learn how to walk. You better go watch Ariana Grande. <gasps> or Beyonce. 
Um, or Naomi. Shoot. You better learn. Everything is a lesson. You got to learn. Like, I, I wish. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. I wish. Mm hmm. Big butts are attractive if your stomach and waist are slimmer and you don't dress like a fashion Nova model. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, practice at home. I remember I used to practice at home walking in my heels. Um, I would just put them on and walk around the house with them on just because, you know, um, I wanted to make sure that when I went out, I didn't look like a fool. I gave away most of my super tall heels though. Like, but back in the day, that's all I wore. Um, what are some good casual dresses? Okay, why are we using these words good casual? Um, anything that like for the daytime, I would say maxi dresses are cute as long as they fit your body, or sundresses, or you know, midi dresses. Or um, just something really pretty and feminine, you know. Mm hmm. Want, went to my kids' conference with beat face, nice jeans, and flat thigh high boots. Then met husband for lunch. My son and husband feel were proud. Aw. They were proud of because you looked good. See? Um, so you already married a kid, so you don't have to do what these single women have to do. So you're good. You know, um, they're probably just glad that you didn't come up there looking like a housemaid. You know what I'm saying? So you did good. Always represent your family, right? Otherwise they will never ask you to come to their school. I asked Layla and Sasha, I was like, what if I look like most of the moms at your school? Cause they look bad. Um, Layla said, I would hide all of my um, papers, you know, for school functions. I would not tell you about anything that was upcoming that I wanted you to come to. I would just not even go myself. <laughs> Sasha said, I wouldn't ask you to go, but I'd still love you. <laughs> I was like, whatever, Sasha. She said, but you don't look like them other moms. I'm like, good. Um. Because some other moms, they didn't let themselves go. And it's so funny, like, when you do go to school conferences and stuff like that or school functions, you'll see the man still looks good, but the mom looks like his mom. And you know he cheating. You know it. Especially in this neighborhood because yeah, it's a nice neighborhood. So you know that that wife looking like who did it and why. And the, the husband still look good. Like, dang, you look good. You know he got something else up there. And if he don't, he will. Okay, so if you let if you're a mom and you let yourself go and your husband still look good, you better get on it. Because I already know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just turned 40. What age range of men should I be targeting? 40. Um, it depends on how old you look. Okay. But I would definitely be going for anybody in their 60s. You the prize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's important to keep yourself up. Exactly. Why not cheat? Nobody wants to drive the same car forever. <laughs> um, what if I'm 40 and still want kids? Freeze your eggs. Or if you can still have kids, have kids. Better hurry up. Men like for women to switch it up as long as it's classy. Exactly, yellow flower. Um, Mugtow, Mugtow rule says overweight bees need to get on a damn diet. Um, I have lunch date tomorrow with a college professor from UNR. Good girl, hey. I hope you make it money. 
I heard like big university um, college professors, they make money or enough. Somebody said no pink wigs, right? Some of the observer melanin says, allow your man to cheat every three months. If you have a millionaire. <laughs> Don't tell me that I'm a what? This channel got me spot cheating my husband and POTs. They are on my radar. <laughs> Maybe I thought it, but please turn around. I saw something moving good because I got ghosts and spirits and stuff up in my house. You know, I look so good that the dead have to rise, baby. <laughs> um, are men all men are cheaters? Might. The man you are seeing is making any plans with you. What? Wait, I read two things at the same. All men, all men are cheaters, so find a billionaire. Exactly. Do you make other plans if the man you are seeing is not making any plans with you? Of course. Of course. All the time. Um. Don't let yourself go, ladies. Exactly. Does a woman who husband bought her Chateau, they living in it, but also have what events that pay money together. I don't. I don't do business with anybody I'm seeing. Bad combination. Mm hmm. Is one fifty k a year at forty four years old enough for me to be a housewife? Yeah, it depends on where you live, though. You live in L A. or New York or Miami? No. Um, just came in from clothes shopping huh? <laughs> and hair salon. Yep. So ain't no man going to use a condom and they're paying everything. They just can find another one. Okay. Whatever. Um, so if you have somebody that's cheating on you and they're rich and they got money and you don't want to sleep with them and you know, they ain't gonna wear no condom, just be sick. Oh, I don't feel good. I got to go to the doctor. I have an appointment and they said not to engage in any sexual activity because I have an appointment and it will mess it up. Oh no, I'm waiting on, you know, I, I yeah, I got my, it's my time of the month and A, B, C, and D. And, oh, I can't. <laughs> don't give it up. Be gone. Get up. Tell him you got diarrhea. I don't know. Make it grow so he don't want to touch you until he realizes he needs a condom. <laughs> um, how to dress up in high school? In high school, I would dress different just to stand out, but still cute. You know, um, I don't know, like high school. It, it, I, like it's too trendy in high school. It's too clickish in high school. It's you can't really be yourself. But I think if you just be what men find very attractive to the highest of your ability, I think you'll be good. You know. Mm hmm. You wore heels every day in high school. Hey, Dana. I'm, I wore everything. I had heels, boots. Platforms, because I'm from the 90s. You know, I didn't have to have a platform. <laughs> anyway. Baby doll shoes and booties. Oh. What area I be in while visiting Houston? Um, Uptown. Galleria area, uptown, definitely. River Oaks is good That's for the old money. <clears throat> but definitely uptown in Galleria area. River Oaks. Mm. I wore heels. Uh, downtown is okay sometimes. I wore heels and platforms in high school, but now I hate heels. I wish I looked better. Took better care of my feet. I can only wear expensive shoes now. <laughs> well, get them expensive heels. 
not what is Bob the builder? She does do business in her chateau. She seems so feminine and doesn't work. Um, I mean, if she doesn't have to work for anybody else, if she's working for herself and keeping her own money and not paying any of those bills, then she's fine. <laughs> Wealth in Atlanta will be found in Buckhead. Okay. So many gay men in Atlanta. Okay. Anyway, like, it doesn't matter what people think. It doesn't matter what men say. It matters what they do. We already know that what comes out of their mouth and what they do are to two totally different things. So. Hello. Hi. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Um, money is the only motive, right? Classy airport outfits. Um, well, you're traveling. I still try to look good if I'm trying to catch, get, catch a man, you know, heels, dress. I'm still trying. I'm, I'm, I might be suffering, but I'm still a good. <laughs> How do you apply Reply to a guy that says, you know, I love you, right? Ask him for, ask him to prove it. You love me? Really? Wow. Are you sure you're not just saying that you love me? Did you do anything for me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Then start start quizzing them. Will you pay my car note? Here you go. That's love. Love is not words. It's action. Any advice or opinion on dating a married sugar daddy? Yeah, don't act like their girlfriend. You know, act like a sugar baby. Be fine when they don't call. Have an extra one on, on standby, you know, because he's probably going to not show up sometimes or not call you sometimes because he's going to be busy. So be able to be with someone else or be alone at, when it's time. Can you wear black dresses? Not all the time. Maybe once or twice, like for like an evening where that's appropriate. But if you're always wearing black, you know, and a red dress walks by, he's going to look at that red dress. You know what I mean? Um, Can you talk about girls dating gay guys? Um, Why would women date gay guys? Like they don't know that they're gay or they date them on purpose because I don't know. If they're doing it on purpose, I think. They're just desperate. If they don't know, it's because they're not paying attention. <clears throat> yeah, act like a sugar baby, not a girlfriend. Ugly men have the most money because they are not sitting up in a gym 24-7 staring at the mirror. They don't have time. Exactly. Mm hmm. I got one question. How long have you been in love with me, Ashira? <laughs> um, that time you gave me like a billion dollars and a million dollars and uh, bought me everything I asked for. That was that's that's when <laughs> that was the moment. Mm-hmm. 
Can a man have sugar daddies too? Mm-hmm. All rich men are handsome. Exactly. Um, is it possible to date a politician? It is if you want to, if you want to stay hid. And if you're not the type that's gonna make a good wife, you're gonna be the hidden girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you, Natural Market. How do you like YouTubers using your style with no credit? Um, I don't care. Um, we inspire each other, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I mean, as long as the message is getting out and I don't have to see Pikmisha and Sharkisha everywhere I go, I'm, I'm good. You know, uh, I don't do this for me. I do this for everybody. Okay. As long as I don't have to go to the store and see a bonnet on somebody's head, I'm happy. Copy. Do whatever you need to do. Just don't use my name and don't use my channel uh, name and I'm good. <laughs> don't copyright me and I'm good. That's all. Um, because, because since I started this channel, I've seen less and less and less ratchet um, women accepting whatever I've seen less and less. So obviously the more people that put out the same message, the, the further it goes. Okay. They don't have her delivery though. <laughs> well, I don't really care. As long as the message gets out, I don't care. It's just, I don't care. As long as women are not accepting the, the trash anymore and making it better for all women, then that's what needs to be being done. You know, it's not about me. Like, I don't really care. It's about people doing what is best for them. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to make myself known or famous. I'm just trying to not have to be embarrassed when Sharkisha and Barnetta walk up in the store, you know, with they slide in their house shoes. You know, I want to see some cute women that look like me on my street, staying home from work in the malls while I'm shopping too. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of uh, y'all going to work, working harder than the man that y'all paying for. <laughs> okay. So, Yes, please get it together because so many people's lives have changed just because they um, changed their standards, you know. Mm-hmm. Breed with better men. Uh -huh. Yeah. Only one billion in every well, only one billionaire and every one hundred black men make thirty thousand K and up. So somebody's going to get left behind. Now, yeah, y'all are left behind. Y'all don't see that. If black men are only making an average of thirty thousand dollars, y'all are the ones left behind. I don't know why you can't see that. Y'all the ones left behind. Because like if you're if you're making chump change, foreign women are better and they are broke and good looking good. You know, but they're trying to get them a sugar daddy too. <laughs> Believe. The only reason you're not broke to them is your money's probably worth more than theirs, but they still looking for it. They still looking for the money. Um, <laughs> Everybody want to be Melania until you got to sleep with Trump. You, do, Melania ain't sleeping with Trump. <laughs> That's why he got to go cheat with all them other chicks. Because she ain't giving them nothing, okay? Once you get married, you ain't got to give up nothing. Not if you don't want to. Okay. How do you go back to using a condom after not using it for months? Tell them you're off your birth control and you need this condom. Unless you want to have a baby. 
You, you trick them and tell them you're pregnant. Condom going right back on. As soon as you say, oh, well, it's a false alarm, but you got to start wearing condoms because I'm not taking birth control anymore. That's how you do that. Um, right. So. Are any moles attractive to God? To, I think if they're a flat mole in a, in a sexy place. Yeah. Mm. Still the same amount of ratchets. That's because you live where they live, George. Move. <laughs> George, move. Move thyself from around ratchets. What's the ideal outfit to wear to impress a guy but still be comfortable? A swimsuit. <laughs> How about that? No okay. car. <laughs> a bikini. <laughs> because you're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to wear them heels. You're going to have to wear those dresses. You're going to probably have, if you, if you got anything sticking out, you're going to have to wear those body shapers. If you're going to have to work out, you're going to have to wear high heels that are uncomfortable. You're going to have to uh, wear makeup, hair. You're going to have to do all of that because that's what it takes, you know. Or a swimsuit. <laughs> or nothing like the strippers. They're very comfortable. Um. <laughs> All their stuff is spandex and a stretch. <laughs> Marriage for an older man is not for everybody. Likely to be more companion friend, Linda Brown. Okay. That's true. But if you like working, hey, go for it. <laughs> you like waiting to 40 to get married and still have to work. Go for it. Hey, y'all have a good day. You know, I'm just trying to uh, tell y'all how to have the best, easiest life. Mm-hmm. Which book do I recommend for women to read? Too Pretty to Pay Bills. It's an ebook on Amazon and I wrote it. Mm-hmm. That's which one I recommend. Um, really, I'll go buy it. Thank you, Chocolate Goddess. Yay. It's short, too. You can finish it. Um, but It's more like a guide. I don't go into any, like, boring details like most writers do. Just get straight to the point. Mm-hmm. I was good with companion and friend. Oh, well, good. See, because that's all husbands turn into anyway. Right, Linda Brown? They can be cute and young and they still gonna end up being your friend until they cheat. And then you you broke and got cheated on. At least if they were old and had money, they either be a too old to cheat or at least you could still go shopping. So, you know. <laughs> Right? How to check if he's hiding assets. Get you a private detective. They can find it. Hire a private investigator. Not detective. A private investigator. That's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. They have online private investigators that will find everything online about them financially. Um, why even take care of a female if she can say no? Because most humans have the right to say no. You know, that's people's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is why the world is in the state that it's in, because it's ran by men. You see how they think? Um, there you go. We have, you know, women have to play to men's thinking because that's how you outsmart them and get what you want. doesn't mean it's correct. Not by all means, it doesn't mean it's correct. It's just what you, it's just what you do to get what you want. You see, because, you know, it's just what you do to get what you want. Mm-hmm. If you think back to like ancient um, Egypt, ancient Kemet, if you look at the clothing that the women versus the men wore, the women wore long dresses, long, flowy. Um, she Then she wore a necklace. She had a little wig on, a little makeup, but she wasn't. Up in no high heels, butt all sticking out, chest all cleavage out. She was covered. The man didn't have on no shirt. The man had on a little a skirt because Egypt and ancient Kemet was ran by women. <laughs> mm hmm. So just really think about it. It doesn't mean it's right to uh, how men think, but. That's how you get the advantage in this type of society. Mm -hmm. um, the females in here don't like working. Exactly. I mean, why would we like doing what a man is supposed to be doing? Do you like twerking in heels, George? <laughs> Do you like giving birth, raising the children, cooking the food? Do you like doing any of that? While wearing heels and twerking at night? You like doing that too? You shouldn't because that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? Just like we don't like to work. Okay? We lead, women can be leaders, but I protect goddesses, not queens. Do you have money to protect anything? You're making thirty thousand dollars, you can't protect much. You can't even afford life insurance. So, uh, you better get some money to protect. That's the protection is the money. Okay. Back in the old days, it was the man because he could fight. And today, the man needs the money to fight. You can't fight anything without money. You know. You could all, you could protect you could protect somebody walking down the street, but that's about it. But you can't protect people for real. You know, in this day and age, money is the protection. That's why they call insurance protection. If you don't have any money and somebody needs a kidney transplant or emergency services and you have no money to pay for your child's operation, what are they gonna do? Die? You know. If your child gets in some type of legal situation and they were wrongfully accused, you ain't got no money to hire a lawyer. What are they going to do? Sit and rot in jail because or prison because you don't have the correct type of protection. You see, so you need some money. People don't understand this. I don't know why. Your your woman has to uh, stay at home because she's. Um, been given or orders by her doctor to bed rest because she's pregnant. Can you swing all the bills and the hospital bill for giving birth? That's protection. Okay. So get some protection because you can't protect anything if you don't have any money. That's it. If I have to go ask somebody else to help me because you don't have the correct type of protection, then you don't need to be there. OK, you got to go to start a GoFundMe and I have a grown by able bodied man standing right here and I got to go start a GoFundMe to go to the hospital or to pay for, you know, something. Then that's not any type of protection. Mm hmm. If I'm going to go out and work for another man, I might as well just be with that man, too. So I got to see him all day, every day. 
you're going to have to share your woman. You see? Um, so if that's what you like, hey. <laughs> Whatever, because I sure, you know. <laughs> I don't see how a man can send his woman out, especially if she look good, to go work for, work for some other man. It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. You got three sugar daddies and you still in love with your ex, Dusty? He tried his best, but I it's not enough. Pray, pray my feelings away. <laughs> Girl, I don't even know how you feel in love with a Dusty. You was just in the wrong mind because you would have never fell in love with a Dusty if you were in your right mind. <laughs> you reading my book now on Kindle? It's amazing. Thank you, girl. XOXO. Thank you. Um, you getting with that boss too, Millie? Okay. Shoot, I'm going to be. Oh, I have a work trip going to a uh, work conference. Yeah, it's in Las Vegas. I'll be gone for three days. Shoot, if if you if you make me get a job, I'm gonna get a job where I travel. Okay. Shoot, tell me to go get a job. You will never see me, cause I'm gonna be working too busy for you. Okay. You should take pride in something other than manipulation. I will. My job when I'm traveling. Without you, that's my, if I'm going to take pride, I'm taking all the pride. Oh, I have to work. I'll be out of town for three or four days. I'm going to be somewhere on the beach with my boss. We're going to be on vacation. But I'm going to be getting paid still because that's what women do. Okay. So don't send us out to work. Handle your business. <laughs> Humans are devolving because of these unconcerted babies. What? I got y'all going. Ha ha. She's so evil. I know. Um, but y'all have to think about this. What type of world would it be if there was no doing these type of things? <laughs> Boy. What's the name of my book? Too Pretty to Pay Bills. It's on Amazon. Too Pretty to Pay Bills. We are evolving. You are just broke. Ha ha. Um, we ain't broke. As long as a woman got what the man wants, she is never broke. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You travel internationally and need a sugar daddy that will put you on some first class flights. <laughs> um I just want you. Yep, just want the money, right? And, you know, it's come to this because um, y'all already know why women just want the money now, right? Because there's nothing you can do for her unless you can help her. If you can't help her, then spoil her. If she don't need your help, can you impress her? Can you spoil her? Can you impress her? No. If you can't, then what, what, what good is it? So these days, you know, acts of kindness are overrated because you can pay for that service at a hotel or the restaurant or a bar, you know, but gifts are always good. Money is always good. Showing someone their value and worth is always good. Go to the church and find someone on a deacon board. That's where the sugar daddy is. Hey. Okay. Um, do men eventually get annoyed about paying for everything if they have money or is it just just, um, I was going to ask James, but he just went in the bathroom. <laughs> um, I don't 
wouldn't think they do because it's just like a mother. Does she get tired of paying for her kids or it's just automatic? And you have it, you got it. You know, like whenever I go somewhere with Layla and Sasha, I don't think about it. I just pay. Just don't even think about it. It's just like, that's the norm. You know? Um, Ask a surgeon that, you know. Ask a millionaire if he gets tired of paying for his wife or his girlfriend all the time. There's your answer. If you got it, it's not a problem. It's like they know more is coming in. So that's what it's for, to spend. <laughs> okay. Um, protect your reproductive system from boyfriends. <laughs> okay. Um. Tell these broke, dusty females to stop demanding high with low supplies and quality. Um, well, I always tell them, make sure they look good enough to get what they're asking for. I tell them, I tell them. Um, she is speaking facts. I left my dusty, got a new man, told him I'm only working. What? Told. I can't finish reading that because it didn't. Told me my money aside for all my bills. I will be collecting that security. Okay, good. Um, they, the day of bumming is over males. Times are not getting easier, so Mugtail can't say. Mugtail can't say, all right. Um, don't push, baby, push, check. Push a check, what? Some of these, check. <laughs> Wealthy men and upper class men prefer their wives to be stay at home moms or kept socialites. They do not require help financially. Exactly. Share any tips on growing your YouTube channel? Um, be consistent. Upload all the time. Good background, good lighting. Do your makeup, do your hair. Um, good topics. Be real. Go live. Mm-hmm. Did you ever date a player? Yeah, but I was player too, so it didn't matter. Um <clears throat> what they want you to stay home to keep you away from other wealthy men. <laughs> Any tips on attracting money? Look good. Expect it. Go where money is. Mm -hmm. Plan what you're going to do with it when you get it. Before you even get it. You got it. A hey, doctor offer you the hundred dollars to on a first date on what's your price should i counter off for more money or will that run him away he's 31 girl he just he probably still in medical school or barely getting out he can't afford more than a hundred dollars unless his daddy owns a practice or something take it he's too young <laughs> mm -hmm. a mm. hundred dollars ha 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 He's too young. Go for older. Counter offer too. You might lose it though. Because he sounds too young. She can stay home if she business mine and flip my account. Most females not doing it. Flip your own account. If I'm a flip an account, it's going to be my account. <laughs> okay. Uh, right not never be scared of what, what's your price right what are your thoughts on prostitution um oldest profession in in the world 
supply and demand. As long as there's a demand, there'll be a supply. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm about to go to Google. Girl, don't even waste your time Googling now. You're going to laugh. <laughs> there's always a demand. Exactly. Um, men can flip his own account, but why invest in a financial dummy? She got to know stuff too. She, she know how to get whatever she wants. She's a woman. Keep that in your mind. Women are natural, naturally able to flip stuff. That's our number one talent. <laughs> mm-hmm. help. I got so many compliments all the time and on how I look now to sound. I'm reading. I'm live. <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. Either. What if your husband becomes controlling? Well, I got my own money. Um, That's why you need to have your own account. Mm -hmm. Shira doesn't teach prostitution. It's weird how Dusty's try to compare. The only reason people say prostitution is because they're used to getting it free from Bonetta and Sharkeisha down the street. And they don't realize that it's not free, especially if the woman values herself and has uh, standards. It takes effort, time, energy. And investment to get to that. Okay. So if you if nobody ever told you, if you're used to Sharkeisha, your baby mama, whatever, giving it out for free, then that's why. Okay. It's not free. It never was. It never should have been. Anybody who gave it away for free got cheated, was dumb, and needs to stop giving it out for free. You see? So it's not free. Never was, never should have been. Okay. Um, do you tell a man straight up after a couple of days that you want money, like to turn a boyfriend into a sugar daddy? Um, if you want to lose them, yeah. Does a man come out and tell you straight up, hey, I want to sleep with you and then ghost you? No, but that's what their intention is. They don't come out there and tell you that though. Okay. Use your brain. Know how men think. You got to trick them. Um, <clears throat> anyone know where to meet good men in New Orleans? Visiting there next month. I don't know. I don't, I'm not from New Orleans. But maybe somebody will answer you in the the feed. Mm-hmm. You couldn't trick a cat. I could trick a dog, though. And a man. <laughs> Cats are too smart. You're right. That's why they call felines feminine. We are the cat. Mm-hmm. Falcon P says there are no good men in New Orleans to stay away. <laughs> okay. You test females money intelligence when they fail. I dry up cash offers. Um, you sound broke though. So the test would probably be, the question would probably be stupid. Like seriously. <laughs> I wouldn't even answer that question if you called me a female I would call you a male yes male but X, Y get scientific on you
know because a smart mean wealthy or broke invest properly. Yeah. And they invest in a woman. And they don't use the woman to get the money. That's what broke men do. Um, when a man with money who's financially stable and has smart financial intelligence, he knows that a woman will up his value in front of other in potential investors. You walking around with a beautiful woman on your hand that you can fully take care of will give other men confidence in your ability because a, a beautiful woman is a symbol of success. You walking around with broke Sharkeisha on your arm because she know how to flip your weed is nothing, you see. So you got to learn the real game if you want the real money. <laughs> Have you ever gone to college? I've gone to many schools. Mm -hmm. I make more than most college graduates. Mm-hmm. Financial intelligence. That's what it's called. The proper word for it is financial intelligence. Not money intelligence. Financial educated. Financially educated. Financial education. <laughs> if you have kids out of wedlock, you are broke and low value. So you look, you broke and low value observer. You got kids out of wedlock. <laughs> you just described most of the men in this feed. <laughs> For every woman that had a kid out of wedlock, it's a man. <laughs> okay, because like. Okay. It's guys that have money who care less about a wife. How are they making deals? Some, some, some people won't even deal with you unless you're married. Do you know that? Like when you get high up, you get real high up. If you can't hold down a home or a wife, nope. A lot of people won't even do business with you. Um, because it's a level of integrity and it's a level of risk. And it's a, a lot of, it, really, if you go read some books and really learn finance, um, education, most people judge you on whether you have a family or a wife because they know that you're truly investing into um, your uh, lifestyle. If you have a messed up lifestyle, they're not going to trust you with all this money. If they see you stable with an heir to the throne, with a wife that's respectable, with a home, with investments here and investments there, you are more trustworthy and uh, investable. If you out here uh, running around talking about, I don't need no wife, I'm smart, I got money, da, 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 driving a, uh, I don't know, flashiest thing you can find, you know, they're not going to invest in that. Why? Because it's short term and you're going to lose your money quick and your money is not going to go into anything um, that is real. Your money is not going to go into um, you, your risks aren't going to be, you're not taking risks to lose, you know, wife, kids and families and, you know, things like that, because you're unpredictable. If you don't have a, a stable foundation, you don't have a stable foundation. No one's going to work with you. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to trust your decision-making. So when you get to the real money, not the little change you're talking about, when you get to the real money, then you'll understand that no one's going to deal with you if you don't have certain things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's face it. A single man with a lot of money with a drug problem in one week will mess up his entire investment. Okay. <laughs> That's true, though. I know it sounds stupid. That's why y'all ain't got it. <laughs> if you, you ever look at the super wealthy and the higher ups? They all have wives and family. This is why. 
You ain't ever seen the Godfather? Right. That is the foundation. That's what you got to get. That's why, if you think about it, most, most black men don't have this. That's why they're, most black men don't have no money. Like you said, $30,000 is, is, is as good as we can expect for the majority. Why? Because you don't put your family first. Like Jay-Z said, you can't get rich unless you put that family first. <laughs> so stay broke. Um, when people put family first, they get money. That's just it. That's why do you think all these single black women are making it beyond you? Because they putting their kids first. That's their family. You see? Why do you think? Why do you think that? Because they're putting them kids first. Because that's their family. Maybe if you follow that or observe it and learn it, you would understand it. And then you could go do it too. <laughs> so, I mean, somebody got to open your eyes because nobody else is opening them, obviously. <laughs> They're living right. Right. Um, because your priorities are different. You become more responsible. You're responsible for other people's lives. So you don't mess up opportunities by doing stupid things. You don't put things in jeopardy by making wrong decisions. You get up every day because other people depend on you. You don't just sit there and smoke your weed, and lay down and say, I'm going to go to my little minimum wage job high and, you know, do my little work and then go home and then try to um, pick up Bonetta at the corner store when I go get my black and mild. That's not your life. Your life is now trying to make sure your kids have what they need. Your wife has what she needs. They can go to the doctor. You got that good insurance. They can go um, to a nice school and live in a nice house in a nice neighborhood. That becomes your thinking. Not how can I get some sex without taking her to a nice place but just giving her some McDonald's. That's y'all thinking. This is our thing. You see how far ahead our thinking is and how way behind y'all thinking is y'all thinking are behind like a hundred years because you don't have the correct responsibilities or the correct priorities in your brain so just like a single mom can do all that we can also get a real man that has, has his priorities in the correct order to also help out and you know help out and push our um i'm not i'm saying our because i'm talking about women in general push our thinking and um, lifestyle to the next level, you see? So when y'all get that in your mind, y'all will be more successful as well too, okay? It doesn't matter if you're alpha, sigma, beta, whatever. If you got money, you alpha automatically, automatically, okay? Because money is power. If you ain't got, which you alpha where, in the prison yard? Where are you alpha at? In your baby mama house, you alpha? Your name ain't even on a deed, but you alpha in your baby mama house. Okay, yes. Sounds, makes right, makes right sense. Makes good sense. You alpha, but you in somebody else's house with your name nowhere on no no type of deed, but you alpha. Mm -hmm. Alpha, alpha of the brokenness. So I, I hate it when people use that term when their bank account is not alpha. You ain't alpha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So y'all put that alpha up. Y'all put that beta, sigma, whatever up. Pull them bank statements out, and we can talk alpha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting y'all down. I gave. I just gave y'all the answer. Okay. <laughs> the answer was right there in that whole statement that I just shared with y'all. Family first. There you go. A beta can have a huge bank account, so he's an alpha. You forgot to finish your sentence, so he's an alpha, so he can take your woman. Okay. All right. 
If a man can take your woman, he's the alpha. I don't see why they don't understand this. <laughs> the alpha of poverty, exactly. The alpha of the section eight. You go ahead. <laughs> see, all these all these dudes, they, they mad because we calling them out and they know it's true. That's why they mad. They know it's true. What you alpha of? One bedroom apartment, 365. That's what you have for? Okay. Wonderful. Well, I'd rather be beta of a mansion with a large bank account and a beautiful wife and children and my own company than be alpha of apartment 365 in section eight. So you go ahead and keep your alpha title. We'll be over here living this good beta life over here while you stay alpha over there on section eight. So have a good day. Okay. <laughs> alpha of the basement. I swear, they'll try to use any title to have a title. Why don't you go get a real title? Maybe then you can stop using these fake ones. <laughs> go get you a real title so you can stop using these fake titles. <laughs> okay. You got all these titles, but I ain't got no title paycheck. I'm going to see y'all later.